Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be playing around with some makeup from Anthropology. Anthropology has furniture, clothing, and they got a lot of makeup options as well. But before we get into that, today's video is also in partnership with Savage X Fenty. I don't know if you heard, but your girl was made part of their ambassador program a couple months back. I mean, no big deal. It's only the biggest ego boost of all time. Y'all know Savage X Fenty offers hundreds of styles of bras, underwear, lingerie, corsets, cover-ups. But today, I'm gonna update you on just a couple of the new pieces that I received for this month. They do have a new spring collection out and it is fire. So I'll give you a little update and show you what we got. So I guess we'll start off with what I'm wearing. Y'all didn't think that this was from Savage X Fenty, did ya? It's actually a pajama top, but it's cute enough to wear as a regular top. Am I right? You would never guess. So this is called their Savage X Cotton Jersey Crop in black caviar. It's super comfy. I love how it has buttons down the front. So underneath this, I'm wearing their Scalloped Lace Online Bra, also in black caviar. Even though I have a ton of bralettes, this one is one of my favorites right now. I just love the cut. It's so unique and it's really, really sexy. I love the lace detailing. But this next one, you guys, this one is so cute. It's their vintage lace corset in black caviar. I love the neckline on this one. It's like a square neckline. And then at the bottom, it's got a bunch of ruffles, which are very feminine, very pretty. And regarding sizing, I know under my last video, a lot of you were asking me how the sizing is. I would say everything for the most part runs true to size. I haven't had any major issues. Everything fits me pretty well. So as long as you have a good idea on what your sizing is, you shouldn't have an issue in the stuff fitting you right. And whether they have your size is not even a question. They have such an extensive range of sizes, which we love to see it. Okay, Savage X is inclusive to all body types, all sizes. So they're really checking all my boxes as far as lingerie brands go. And then I have one last little fit to share because this one is so cute. I cannot. We got the mesh cami with the matching shorts and these are in the color black caviar floral print. Spring vibes for sure. I love the floral print on this one. The mesh is super, super soft, like very comfortable. And I mean, it's just a cute little number. So these are just a few of my favorite pieces from this month. Spring collection, poppin'. So I'll link everything down below as always, but you can really get the most out of Savage X if you're becoming a VIP member, because that is when you can take advantage of the deal. Two bras for $29 and 50% off everything on your first VIP order. So I definitely recommend that if you are an avid lingerie shopper and you know you're gonna be repurchasing. But now that we made it real hot with this lingerie, I think we can cool it down a little bit and get into the makeup portion of the video. So I have all of the makeup that I ordered from Anthropology right here. We did order it online. I believe they do have them available in store as well, but you know, it's Corona time, hashtag stay home, hashtag we had no other choice, we shopped online. But from what I gather, there's a way wider selection online than they do have in store. So they had a lot of products. Now the makeup vibe with Anthropology is a lot of clean beauty, a lot of multi-purpose products, a lot of cream products that you could use for your cheeks, but also on your lips, a lot of very light coverage foundations. We had high-end brands to choose from, like Juice Beauty, RMS Beauty, Paracone MD, and then we also had some affordable products like Winky Lux, Sigma, Ico London. So there was a variety to choose from, but for the most part, they all seem to be giving me that no makeup makeup type of vibe. So we got ourselves an assortment of products from all those different kind of brands. Some of these brands I am familiar with and some of them are totally new to me, but I did pretty much get enough for a full face. Let's get into it. So for primer, we have the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer Base. The Juice Beauty is a little bit of a pricier brand. They're very well known for their skincare products. They're supposed to be natural, organic. I'm pumping out a few pumps on my hand and it looks very pearly. It's a super liquidy texture, like, you see that? She's splatting everywhere. Feels very milky. It's supposed to be a very lightweight primer that just adds the luminosity, but it's also meant to blur fine lines and pores. It does have a bit of a tacky feeling to it. Feels good, feels good. My skin is visibly like more glowy, but it did absorb very, very quickly and dry down very quickly. And then when I was trying to still rub it in, it would kind of pill. So you kind of have to work quick with this one, really get it all over your face fast. Otherwise it kind of is hard to work with it when it dried down, which was interesting. But I do like the way it's giving my skin like a really natural glow and it smells really good. So I like that. It said it was illuminating and we can see it definitely did that. Primer is a tricky one to know off of a first impression. Let's see how the foundation applies on top. For foundation, we have RMS Beauty's Uncover Up Foundation, 
but they say you could also use it as a concealer. So I did get a lighter shade so we can use it for both today. It is a cream product, so I'm gonna apply it with my foundation brush. And again, RMS is another clean beauty brand with ingredients that are meant to be good for your skin. This is described as a creamy texture that just melts onto your skin for a natural finish that still looks skin-like. And so far it is definitely giving me that. It's actually a lot more coverage than I expected, which I'm down for because she's got breakouts, help me. So let's see if we can build it on those problem areas to get a more full coverage. Oh yeah, you could definitely build it. That's like almost completely covered up now. So I would say this is like a medium to full coverage, not lightweight. It just depends on how much you apply. The glow is pretty. I don't know if it was like amplified because of our primer. I mean, it's a little too much for my skin type. I am oily combination. So I feel like if I didn't set this, like it would just be a little bit too much shine for me. There is something going on right now on my nose and my dry areas that I am not liking. Let me zoom you in so you can see. My nose is super dry right now. I don't know, the weather changed, being back in Canada, whatever it is, not seeing the sun, being quarantined. But this foundation does not look good on my dry spots. Like look how it's kind of separating. Even on my acne or my texture, I feel like it kind of accentuates that. They say it's good for all skin types and it's supposed to be really hydrating. So you'd think it'd be okay on dry spots, but it's really looking horrible on that area there. Even like between my brows here, I have some dry skin and some really large pores. And I think it's just like accentuating that. So I'm a little disappointed. I was really expecting to love this foundation from far away. Like it looks fire. And I know this foundation is loved by so many. So I don't know why it's sitting like that. I look scaly almost. I don't like it. We'll see how it settles in and circle back to how it looks at the end of the video. Now let's go in with the lighter shade for our concealer. I always get worried about cream concealers cause honey, they crease. So the concealer's on. Um, You guys, why do I look like I just dipped my face in a frying pan? It is so wet looking. This isn't like the cute glow. This is like you were sweating hard in the gym. So like for my skin type, that's not what I'm looking for. But also the way it's setting on my dry spots, like I couldn't see this really working for dry skin either. As for coverage for concealer, it's giving me like a light to medium coverage. You can still kind of see my dark circle seeping through. I would probably recommend using a color corrector before applying. But again, close up, you can see it's kind of giving me weird texture on my under eye. It's looking kind of scaly. I don't know if it's the primer that caused this or if the cream just doesn't look good on textured skin. I don't know what's going on. Confusion. So I don't know, this does have really good reviews. So maybe it is the primer that's kind of making it sit weird and getting kind of scaly because it did dry down and it was pilling on me. So maybe it's just not a good base to use with this foundation. But even so, it is still looking too, a little too greasy for an oily skin type. Let's try and set it. I got the RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder as well. So this is meant to go with the foundation. It's a loose setting powder. It is slightly tinted. It's not translucent. So I got the lightest shade. It's meant to absorb any excess oils, minimize the appearance of pores and soften your skin, it says. Let's see if we can set that concealer. Help us out a little bit with this shininess. So I'm gonna definitely apply this all over my T-zone where I get the most oily. Let's do a flash test, of course. Definitely passed the flash test, but I think here more than ever, you can see what I mean about it just not sitting right on the areas where I do have dry spots or a little bit of texture, especially my nose. It looks very scaly, very flaky between my brows. So not looking great on my problem areas and that concealer is already creasing on the under eye. It's accentuated my fine lines under there. So I don't know, I'm not having a great experience with this product right now. Have you guys tried this one? What do you think? Next up, we'll do bronzer. I grabbed the Paracone MD No Makeup Bronzer. It's this cute little glass packaging with a little dropper applicator, which is interesting. And I'm not too worried about having that setting powder on there already. I did keep it mostly just to my under eye and the center of my face. So using a liquid product right now should not be too much of an issue. I think this applicator is interesting, but I don't know if it's too practical. Oh my God. That's why I don't think it's practical. What the heck? Oops. We'll try that again. Let's go ahead and try and blend this out. It's described as a weightless liquid bronzer that's meant to give you a healthy looking sun-kissed glow without shine, shimmer, or caking. That is blending out super easily. It really does look like I barely put anything there. Very natural looking. It's just melting into the foundation so easily. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a nose contour with this. I'm really liking that. It kind of goes on like water, super, super easy to blend out. So for a nice, natural, barely there bronzer, I'm liking this a lot. Moving on to blush, I have the Albeit Multi Stick in the shade Bellini. And this is meant to be multi-purpose. You can use it for your cheeks, your lips, as an eye shimmer, it says. It's a cream stick product. I love the gold packaging, has a very luxurious look to it. So we'll apply this as a blush. Oh my God, it literally feels like I'm putting like a lip balm on my face right now. It is so balmy. We'll use a brush to kind of blend it out. I really like that color. That's pretty, very 
subtle, just giving us a little rosy tint. It hasn't separated the foundation at all. It actually went on really, really nicely. And that shine is stunning on the cheeks. Very youthful, I love that. Apply a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. I also wanted to try this as a lip product, so we'll just go ahead and apply that on my lips. That's so pretty. I love that. I'm gonna apply a little bit of lip liner just to define my lips, but I'm loving this for my cheeks and my lips. I feel like this would be a great product if you're the type of girl that doesn't spend more than like five, 10 minutes on your makeup and you just wanna get out the door, look very natural. Use it for both your cheeks and your lips. Throw some on your eyes if you want to, apparently. I'm liking that. Moving on to brows, we have the Skinny Brow in Natural Brown from the brand called Full Brow. So it's a micro tip, fine brow pencil with a spoolie brush on the end, which is normally the type of brow pencil I reach for. So I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows. Loving the micro tip. You can see that it was super easy to create hair like strokes. It's creamy, but not too creamy to where it's sliding around everywhere. You can still get in between your brow hairs. We'll use the spoolie brush to blend that in a bit, but I'm really liking this brow pen. It's definitely given me my ideal brows. Loving how my brows look, really easy to shape and define with this little micro tip. It also has vitamin C and E in it, which is meant to nourish your brows. So that's pretty cool. Great ingredients in there as well. Nothing bad to say about that one. For highlight, we're using the vanilla highlighter from Ere Perez. It's a highlight balm. I'm just gonna apply that with my fingertips. The key ingredient in it is vanilla, which is supposed to be calming and soothing for your skin. Definitely giving us a natural wet highlight here. So it's completely applied, definitely giving us glazed donut vibes. This is that type of balm highlight that will just give you a very natural looking glow. It's melting really nicely into those cream products and I'm really liking it. This is definitely the type of highlight that you wanna use if you want a dewy look, which we definitely have right now. I'm gonna quickly apply some primer on my lids and then we can move on to eyeshadow. We have the Lapgos eyeshadow kit in afternoon tea. It's very cute, got some dusty rose shades in there and also some neutrals. There's 10 shades total, a mixture of mattes and shimmers. Haven't tried this brand before. She was a little pricey, so I have a little bit of high expectations here. A little bit, just a little bit, $38. Better give me some pigment. I'm gonna use the rose shades in the palette to match my lips a little bit, a little monochrome moment. But first, let's go in with the lightest shade in the palette. There's definitely some fallout. That's okay, we'll dust off our brush. And I'm gonna use that just on the inner corner to brighten, kind of blending up to the brow bone and to about the center of my lid. Definitely got some color to it. It's not crazy pigmented off the bat, but it's building pretty nicely. Oh, I forgot to mention this palette does come with a little brush in it. One end's got like a fluffy packing brush, the other end is one of those sponge applicators. Don't see myself using the sponge side too much, but I think we can make use of this side. Next, let's go in with this matte shade, and I'm gonna just blend that all over my lid and up and into the brow bone. It's applying very, very soft, but this rose shade, it's going perfectly with this lip. So my mic died in the middle of doing this eye look, but all I did now is just went in with the shade called Hibiscus, the deeper rose shade, and I dusted that on my outer corner and into my crease. And then I tried using the shimmer shade, I mixed the shades Rose Flower and Darjeeling and tried to dust that on the center of my lid, but there wasn't much pigment to it at all. So I tried spraying my brush with a setting spray to see if we could get a little bit more of a metallic shimmer and it barely made a difference, but I mean, it did add a little extra shine. So I wasn't too much of a fan of the shimmer shades in this palette. They were very, very subtle. I definitely like the matte shades better. Because the shimmers were kind of weak, I decided to try out this multi-stick that we used as a blush and on our lips because it was so fire for those areas. They also said you can use this on your eyes. So I just went ham and we tried this on my lids. It gave us like that wet eye look, which looks so fire. And especially because we have minimal shadow under there, it doesn't look like it's creasing too much. And it really ties in the whole like dewy look that we're going for. So very fresh. I'm a huge fan of this Albeit Multi-Stick right now. I loved it for eyes, cheeks, and lips. And for the eyeshadow palette, I do like the look that I went with. The shadow formula is not super pigmented, but I also think it's not horrible. They're not chalky. I think this is marketed more towards the girl that just wants to dust one shade on or two shades on and just wants that natural look every single time. Definitely wouldn't recommend this if you want to do a crazy smoky eye or a cut crease. It gives you very soft color, very blendable, kind of foolproof if you're horrible at blending. But I think for the price, you could definitely find palettes that are a lot cheaper. So last up, we're finishing up with lashes. I grabbed the Tweezerman Pro Master Lash Curler and I just couldn't wait to use this. So I have been using it for a little while now and it's changed my lash game completely. So it's one of those products 
products that I never knew I needed until I got it. It is specifically suited for almond shaped or smaller deep set eyes, which I definitely have tiny deep set eyes and just regular lash curlers are harder to curl every single lash with. So this one completely curls from inner corner to outer corner with no issues. It's like a lot smaller and it does a really good job on my tiny eyes for my lashes. Like I don't know how I went so long without it. So this is like the only lash curler I use now. Definitely recommend if you have small deep set eyes. Last step is mascara and I have the Ico London Black Magic Mascara. It's got a curved wand with thick bristles. So let's apply. Oh, it's easy to grab straight to the root of your lash because of that curled situation. This is meant to give you volume and curl your lashes and it says it's water resistant, not waterproof. So here we have the mascara on and no mascara at all and you can really see a difference. I do think it lengthened them a lot. It didn't make them clumpy at all, but I would say it's more lengthening than adding volume, but it is a little bit of both. All right, so those are all the products that we have to try out from Anthropology. This is the finished look and I actually really love how it turned out. I think it's very, very pretty, very dewy. Looking at my foundation now, it's weird. I feel like it grew on me. I think it needed some time to settle in, but it looks a lot better on my nose. I definitely don't like it as a concealer though. It is creasing on my under eye, even though I did set it. So I'm still kind of iffy on this one. Have you guys tried it? What do you think of this one? Are you as confused as I am? Like, I don't know. My fave products definitely have to be that brow pencil, so bomb. This stick surprised me so much. I also really liked it as like a glazed eyeshadow. Definitely will continue using this. I also really like the Paracone Liquid Bronzer. Very, very subtle. Definitely to be worn on those no makeup makeup days. Also love this vanilla highlighter from Ari Perez. Very balmy. This will give you like literally a wet look on your face wherever you apply it and it just reflects the light so beautifully. Overall, I think the key theme with Anthropology makeup is a lot of it is just clean beauty brands that keep skincare in mind. A lot of these products I think are geared towards giving you that natural makeup look, a very fresh face. And this introduced me to a lot of new products and new brands I hadn't tried before. But let me know what you guys think of the final look. Are you more of a fresh, dewy kind of girl? Or are you more of a full coverage, full glam beat kind of girl? I feel like I'm a little bit of both, depends on the day. But let's talk about it down below. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click right here to subscribe to my channel and join my S Club. Check out the S Club apparel by clicking this button up here. And next up, you better watch another one of my videos by clicking one of these boxes over here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mwah.